everyone, it's Maeve and Kitty, and we're here today to talk about Ostheimer farm life. So their farm animals, their farm peoples, their farm buildings, and their general paraphernalia. Paraphernalia to do with farms. Yes. So kicking off, we're looking at our stable scene, and in this we've got the Ostheimer stables with a couple of horses in. In the front, we've got. Some little geese. Shetland pony, little foal. You've got some geese here. We have the farmer's wife with her little spotted hat. That's the farmer's wife and her ha her arms move. Yep, and she's got opposable arms with um, a little dress with a little red piping details on it. I'd be happy. Lady there. Well, she's not because she's scolding wee Jimmy. What's wee Jimmy done? I don't know. It's up to you, really. What's wee Jimmy's on, do I think? He looks like um, he might have run away and his granny's found him. Wee Jimmy. And there's granny. With her grey bun. Her lovely dress. There. So, looking in detail, we're actually looking, I'll just pull back a bit so you can see in full, the stables, which are absolutely gorgeous. So, Katie, do you want to run through? I'll zoom in now so you can see. It. So the stables come as one piece. You don't have to build anything, fix anything to anything else. You've got three little stalls and each one the doors open. And if I move Kitty out of the way, at the side, you have a double door. And then at the other side, and they're all tied with leather. Tied with leather. The other side, you've got a little window comes with a ladder as well which fits just nicely into the window so you can climb up and get your hay and then you've got your oh, loft for your hay and we've got some little cats having a little snooze up there all the little sections and stalls are lovely and then if you can see into the back which might be a bit difficult from that angle you've got space for hay bales so oh, if you're coming up the little door and take the horse out, you see it, yeah. So the little grill in there. That's really cute, isn't right. it? And that's in all of them, all three. Yeah, all three have little feeding stations. So And the horses we have in there are this is your white horse, complete with reins, little grey mane, and I like the way Ostheimer on the front, if you pull the animal up close again, what they do is they chisel the side off so it's not just one big square block yeah, like so Holsteiger. Yeah, flat. A lot of the Holsteiger are quite flat, whereas the Ostheimer, they put a little bit more detail. So it's like a Leonardo da Vinci You can horse. see here, you, it's just chiseled here to give it just a bit of more dimension and less of a square face. And of course, then they've got the reins. So that's a horse. And what else have we got? Oh, surprise, we put a unicorn in there. Imagine that. Because every farm has a unicorn in its stable. No farm would be complete without one. Then we have... Is that a little foal? Is he a little Shetland pony? Oh, that's a little Shetland pony. That's really cute, isn't it? And then this is the Halfinger Colt. So everybody horsey needs these. It's lovely. So that's the stables. I really like that stables. I think it's a really nice piece. Really, really solid, really thick. I mean, the doors are just really chunky. Nice leather finish. And obviously it comes as one piece, so you don't need to start assembling. You just take it out of the box like that. That's great, isn't it? Just lift. Yep. Open, ready Pump to it go. Until done. Okay, in front of the stables, we have a little pond scene going on. So if you use some of the pond pieces from all summer, you get two in each pack. So you get two differently shaped pieces. And just a look at a little meandering river. And we've put a few of the Grimm's pebbles Grimm's in there. Grimm's pebbles, so great for balance and stacking. And we, had the, we have our river going under our bridge, which is made from a wobble. This is the thunder with a green felt. 
and it just to be the smoke of mountains. It, it does, yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. So let's. So on top of the wobble, we oh, have. I just put my finger all over that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have got our shepherd and his little friend, and then we've got a ram and three sheep and some conifers. So look at his swirly horns. They're beautiful, aren't they? It's just that little bit of additional detail. He's gorgeous. And then we have the shepherd with his staff. And the little shepherd boy with his little red cap and his sack. I think, looking at the wobble, I think the wobble with the green felt really works if you're doing scenes like this. I suppose any colour will. Yeah, Alfie calls his, we have the fuchsia wobble and he calls it his rainbow wobble and it doesn't really matter. He uses it as sheds and all sorts of things. But grass does speak of green, so that sort of spoke to me. And I think it's really great um, to set these scenes up for children for the first time if they're not used to playing with them, you know, when they get yeah. to bed at night. It's a really good idea to rotate toys. I know a lot of nurseries do this and have all these kind of scenes set up. So it's a great little, you know, wake up and they can... See their farm is all laid out. So that, and then in front we just have a couple of little goose, geese yes. even. So there's different sorts of geese. This one is head high. Need a little geese. Oh, he's going for a swim. Then we have this little chap whose head's lower. And then we have two little goslings I think it's really nice when you get the whole family yeah. together isn't it look there's a little size difference and I think with Alzheimer you get much better the difference in scale so the goslings are a lot smaller than the geese which is what you would sort of naturally expect while I think sometimes with the holst the holsteiger like the chick's absolutely massive and it's bigger than a cow so while yes these are quite small and you might want to put them away for a smaller child they are brilliant in that they are scaled much better. And they're sitting on a meadow four parts, is it? Yeah, four parts. So you've got thicker pieces and thinner pieces. And you've got four different shapes and sizes. Again, fantastic for just creating this, setting the scene. If you have any questions, do you want to see anything detailed, shout them out and we'll talk through it and I'll be looking out for those. So moving along, we're now looking at the Holsteiger house. They're well, it's a different well to the one that we showed in the fairy tale settings. On and we have a couple of naughty goats climbing up that little... Goats are naughty, it is a fact. My mum used to have a goat and she couldn't help cope with it escaping. I'll do that and try and zoom in a bit, yep. So we have our little kids. And then we have Daddy Goat with his lovely dark horns. And then we have lighter horns in this one. Do you know what? I'll just zoom in on that one. You see that? You see all the detail in the All the, the detail hair. on the hair, yeah. There's a lot finer detail on these. So if you're wondering whether to go, I mean, you can mix and match, and most people do mix and match. I'll style Matt Halsteiger. You don't have to have just one collection. Yeah, but I you have. You can see there's just a lot more detail on these. I have a mix at home, so I've got an uh, Ostheimer goat at home, and then I've got Ostheimer Merlin shape set, and they're lovely, and they really have so much detail, but what bulks out most of my collection would be Holsteiger. They're cheaper, I think they're slightly easier to look after because they're quite smooth, whereas there's more of a texture to the Ostheimer, but the Ostheimer are just stunning in their detail. So we've got, and then let's have a look at this well that we've got here. Ding dong bell. So this well has three buckets. Oh wow, that is really good. On a chain, so they just spin round and round and round. And what's that well called? This is called Wishing Well. It's a wishing well. It's a wishing well. So it's got it's a lovely dark stained roof, three buckets, and then has a handle on one side that just spins round and a little goldy chain to move Perfect for around. farm for collecting all the water and stuff. Beautiful. So moving on, I'll move back out so we can see the donkeys. Donkeys. So we have 
three different donkeys here. We have donkey standing. Oh, he's so cute. We have donkey stubborn. And we have- I like donkey stubborn. I like donkey stubborn. And we have donkey small. A little family of donkeys. A little there. family of donkeys. Oh, and our apple tree. So coming into the end of April, start of May, you've got all your blossom on your apple tree. And then as you move through towards summer and autumn, you have apples on your tree. Do you know that little bit of detail? And that's educational yep. itself. It, because it is learning. educational and it's sort of like two trees for the price of one. Love it. So you have May all year round. So let's have a look at the... This is just called house. This is barn. Oh, is it barn? Barn. It said something in German. Um, <laughs> building. Barn building, isn't it? Um, but this barn um, has a lovely slatted roof and it is, again, all one piece. You just pop it out of the box and that's it. Um, so it's absolutely massive. We haven't put a huge number of animals in here, but it is really, really, really big. So if I... Move these boils out of the way. My brim and resistance have just all have fallen over. And my piggy wigs. Side of the roof. And that's the door at the front or the back, depending on which you decide. And then the side we can see is just a really really nice piece really heavy really good quality it, i mean it says a barn but it could be used as a house for it can't be I mean, it could be anything it's it's very open it is open into play and that is what the aim of the game is with those timer um so we've got piggy wigs and we have i love the little knot in the tail if yeah. i just really beautiful and then we have a little spotted pig running again the little knot in the tail and then as i just knocked down earlier on we have the bremer musicians so we've got the bremer donkey and these can be bought individually or as a set so we've got donkey we've got the bremer dog and they just stack up like this. Bremer cat, who's blue. And the Bremer hen, with his lovely tail. Hey. I'm gonna step away now. <laughs> uh, as we move around, we've got a play mat, um, and it has a farm scene on it, so you've got a river running through, you've got some forest, you've got some meadow, you've got a little farmhouse, and um, you've got some trees, a vegetable patch, and the naughty chickens have invaded the vegetable patch today. So here we have... And this is a COA, it's in the 100% yep. natural wool. Yep, hand felted in Nepal. Fair trade. Yep. And we have Mr. Farmer here. Again, he has opposable arms, so he can be moved into different positions. And look at his little rotund belly. He's had one too many pot pies. He has. Or so he's the said, German equivalent. Sauerkraut, sausage, something. So he's stood there with his little St. Bernard puppy, who is just adorable. Oh, that is really cute. He's lovely, isn't he? Yeah. And they're shouting at the hens who are in the vegetable patch, which never happens in my mother's house. So we've got brown hen picking. We have some little dark chicks. Now these are really small. They're really cute, but they are small. Very right? small. Definitely one for three plus whenever they're not putting everything in their mouths, but they do make lovely little scenes. So my mum has a little printer's tray and I get her little bits and pieces to put in her printer's tray and she keeps them as a collection for herself. <laughs> um, so we've got hen sitting. So one clocking hen. And then we have Mr. Rooster is pecking. And then we've got some little white hands as well. And in this scene here, we've actually quite mixed it with 
quite a few other brands. We've got the Wallachia um, Log House. Log House. So that's a little kit. Um, we threw it all together um, just for display purposes in the shop. But all these logs that it's made from come separately in the kit. So you can build it, put your windows in wherever you want, put your door in wherever you want. And then you can take it apart and build it again in a different shape. Ours is glued, it's not meant to be glued. I suppose you can glue it if you want. We've just glued it for the shop. But they're the Wallachia, Wallachia log kits. Great fun. Brilliant, brilliant sets. And that's a COA farm mat. Yep. So that is our... Oh, we forgot oh. our peacock. Oh, and I love the peacock. He's just the most beautiful peacock you ever did Let's see. Let's get him up close so you can just see how stunning that is. Just look at the vivid colour in that. They do an open tail peacock as well, but I much prefer the one with the flat tail. I think he's lovely. They're both really nice. They are both really nice, but I think his flat tail is lovely. And I brought out a Holsteiger. If we just show the difference in the two horses, so you can really see the difference between Ostheimer and Holsteiger. So there is your Holsteiger and there is your Ostheimer. And you can see the chiseled face, a bit more definition on the ears, obviously the reins and stuff. They're about the same thickness, I would say. Yeah. And just slightly finer paintwork. Yeah, so with your Oz timer, you have, as Mia says, all these little details here, different angles, really showing off like the muscles of the horse and making them look much more defined. Whereas the, the whole stagger has a little bit of an angle, but really isn't just quite as defined as the Oz timer. We often yeah. get asked the comparisons. That was a very brief comparison. Both beautiful, both stunning, but just a difference. So I'll zoom out and see if we can see the whole farm. We can't. So just going back again, we've got the different scenes all laid out for people who come into the shop. This is what Katie has laid out for you. Yeah. And we're going to finish up, but quickly to win a uh, voucher, just tell us your favourite Ostheimer farm animal that we've talked about today and why. Comment below and it'll be pulled next, a week on Sunday, because we've got too many happening this Sunday. We're giving too much away. Uh, speech is all soon. Bye. Bye.